fire. The fire is not from here. Fire provides a window between this world and the others. When we look up at night and see the stars, this can be the elders' fires above. Each one of them has its own teaching, or many teachings. The stories tell that some have come from so far back that they're from the first world. It is said that we are now in the fifth world, like we have five layers in one part of our brain. Looking up to the elders' fires, you can look back to the first world to see the light that came from a very long time ago. The elders' fires have the stories. At night under the stars, whatever star attaches, catches your attention, you can look to that and hear the stories. Ask your questions. And on the ground while we make fire, we do it with great joy and celebration as we welcome in the fire into our space. We can acknowledge the four directions. We can acknowledge the standing ones, that is the trees, for the wood that they give. We acknowledge fire and the elders and ancestors that come with fire and come with smoke. We can choose to make a fire a food fire or a ceremony fire. Knowing this ahead of time, we can build with purpose. Building with purpose creates energy. Everything is energy. What you put to the fire you emanate to the universe. As the smoke rises, so do your intentions. So to be conscious around a fire, think about what you're spreading to the all that is. Fire is a powerful window to another place. Fire is a powerful window to ourselves. Fire can also be used to burn leaves, leaves of the different plants. Like us, the plants are part of all things, and like us, each is unique and individual. Each has a fingerprint, each has a vibration and a purpose. You may take the tea tree green with its smelling tea tree oils and place it on the coals and as the smoke rises, you know that has been released into the atmosphere. It may be that you have the sacred gum, the blue, the shiny blue silvery leaves, circular. You may put these on the fire and bring those medicines, those stories to the fire. Each person may bring plants that have meaning to them. And when we do give away of the plants, it's generally done before they've gone totally dry, while they still have some green of their life force. Bringing each of these medicines into the fire. It may be rosemary. It may be for healing. Maybe for clarity. As each person brings their plant, they're also bringing with it themselves. Ten people can say the same thing and the delivery will be different with each one. Like the plants, each of us is individual and unique, yet totally part of the whole. Not so much separate, but unique. We are all needed or we wouldn't be here. 
like a wonderful cake with many ingredients. If we miss one, it's not the same cake. You may be the sweet sugar, you may be the sour bicarb, but without each one, the whole cake isn't full, isn't made, it's something different. So whether it be in the fire and bringing the plants and celebrating the uniqueness of each one, or it being in our daily lives, celebrating the unique gifts that came with this being called self. Seeing also how are the synergies of self with all others, so that as we come together we create, like as we come together around the fire, the many types of wood and plant people move into one smoke, one message, many vibrations. As we look more into quantum physics we see the wonder of traditional wisdom being validated by modern science. And modern science is still at the discovery phase of many things which have been known to traditional peoples for millennia. Quantum physics, when you read some of the information from the scientists, sounds like they're being Eastern philosophical people, talking about the unity of all things and the indistinct nature of the smallest being that we used to call a particle or even a subatomic particle. Quantum physics says all is interrelated and rather than there being unique particles which make up distinct entities which form a whole, rather than this, there is a whole, an interconnected whole which has elements within it appearing as individual and unique. This includes ourselves. We appear individually part of the whole. 